Hello students, welcome back. This is Praveen and we are going to start the new lesson today, Life Processes in Living Organism Part 1 from the book Science and Technology 2nd. So, see, so find first question on page number 21. Fill in the blank and explain the statements. First, after complete oxidation of glucose molecules, 38 number of ATP molecules are formed. At the end of glycolysis, pyruvic acid, ATP, NADH2 and water molecules are obtained. Genetic recombination occurs in packetin phase of prophase of meiosis 1. All chromosomes are arranged parallel to equatorial plane of cell in metaphase phase of mitosis. For formation of plasma membrane, phospholipid molecules are necessary. Our muscle cells perform anaerobic type of respiration during exercise. Question second, write definitions. First one is nutrition. The process by which organism take up nutrient and utilize these nutrients for various biological activities is called nutrition. Nutrition can be categorized as autotrophic and heterotrophic. Autotrophic nutrition refer to the process by which organisms synthesize their own food from inorganic raw materials, for example, green plants and some bacteria. In heterotrophic nutrition, the organism are unable to use light energy for the synthesis of food and are dependent on other organisms to fulfill their energy requirements. B. Nutrients Nutrients is a substance available in food that helps us to stay healthy. The main nutrient available in food are carbohydrates and fats, proteins, vitamins, minerals and roughage. C. Proteins Proteins are a type of biomolecules which are made up of amino acids. A protein is made up of several amino acids which are linked together by peptide bonds. They play various roles like help in body building, repairing worn out cell and keeping us healthy. D. Cellular Respiration Definition Cellular respiration is a process in which Respiratory substances such as starch, glucose, fats and proteins are broken down to release energy. This energy is then trapped for the synthesis of ATP to release CO2. E. Aerobic Respiration Definition Cellular respiration occurs by two processes that is aerobic and anaerobic respiration. The process by which the breakdown of carbohydrates occurs in the presence of oxygen resulting in the release of energy in the form of ATP is called aerobic respiration. Glycolysis Definition Glycolysis is the first step in respiration. In this step, 6 carbon glucose is broken down into 3 carbon molecules called pyruvate. This does not require oxygen. One glucose molecule produces two pyruvate molecules. Question number 3. Distinguish between the first one, glycolysis and TCA cycle. See, there are two columns. The first column contains glycolysis and the second one is TCA cycle. In other words, we can call it Krebs cycle. Glycolysis is a linear pathway and Krebs cycle or TCA cycle is a cyclic pathway. Glycolysis is a glucose and the TCA cycle is acetyl COA. Glycolysis occurs in the cytoplasm and the Krebs cycle or TCA cycle occurs in the matrix of mitochondria. Glycolysis produces pyruvic acid, NADH and ATP and TCA cycle produces oxaloacetic acid, NADH, FADH2, ATP and CO2. Glycolysis consumes two ATP molecules and TCA cycle does not consume ATP molecules. Glycolysis generates two ATP molecules from one glucose molecule and TCA cycle generates two ATP molecules from two acetyl COA molecules. Glycolysis occur in eukaryotes as well as in prokaryotes. Krebs cycle or TCA cycle occurs only in eukaryotes. B. Mitosis and meiosis Mitosis involves single division resulting in the formation of two daughter cells. 
and meiosis involves two successive divisions namely meiosis 1 and 2 resulting in the formation of four daughter cells. Mitosis is also known as equational division as the daughter cell has the same number of chromosomes as the parent cell and meiosis 1 is known as reductional division where the chromosome number is reduced to half. Meiosis 2 is known as equational division where the sister chromatids separate while the chromosome's number remains the same. Mitosis The prophase stage is short and does not comprise of synapses, crossing over and the formation of chiasmata. Prophase 1 stage is very long. It comprises of 5 stages. In the zygotine stage of meiosis 1, the pairing of homologous chromosomes takes place. During the Passutin stage crossing over occurs while in the diplotin stage chiasmata formation occurs. Mitosis plays a significant role in the cell growth, repair and the healing of wounds. And meiosis brings about variations and maintains constant chromosomes number from one generation to another. Mitosis mainly takes place in the somatic cells and the meiosis mainly takes place in the reproductive cells. C. Arabic and anaerobic respiration. Aerobic respiration involves the complete breakdown of glucose into carbon dioxide and H2O that is water molecule. Anaerobic respiration involves the partial breakdown of glucose. Aerobic respiration a net gain of 36 molecules of ATP occurs. And in anaerobic respiration a net gain of only 2 molecules of ATP occurs. Here oxidation of NADH2 NADH plus is vigorous reaction and in anaerobic respiration oxidation of NADH to NADH plus is a slow reaction. Question number 4. Give scientific reason. Oxygen is necessary for complete oxidation of glucose. Answer. Glucose can be used by two pathways that is aerobic and anaerobic respiration. Glucose is completely oxidized only in the presence of oxygen in result in the release of energy. It undergoes three steps to finally reach its fate. Glycolysis, Krebs cycle and electron transport chain reaction. In an aerobic respiration, glucose undergoes partial oxidation and result in the release of energy which is comparatively less to the energy released during the aerobic respiration. B. Fibers are one of the most important nutrients. Fibers are one of the important nutrients because they help in the digestion of foods although they themselves are not digestible. They help in the ingestion of undigested substances which is also reason why we are advised to have fiber rich food in case of constipation. Fibers are naturally present in the leafy vegetables, fruits, cereals etc. C. Cell division is one of the important properties of cell and organism. Cell division is one of the important properties of cells and organism because it is the mean of asexual reproduction in unicellular organism. The zygote which is formed of single cell transforms into an adult composed of millions of cells formed by successive divisions. It is the basis of repair for old and worn out tissues. It also results regeneration of organism. It forms the basis of evolution to various life forms. D. Sometimes higher plants and animals too perform anaerobic respiration. Answer. When availability of oxygen is limited, higher animal and plants can also show anaerobic respiration. For example, during exercise, the availability of oxygen to the muscle is limited, as a result of which they undergo anaerobic respiration and result in the production of lactic acid. Similarly, plants may also show anaerobic respiration in case of water, logged roots and result in the reproduction of ethyl alcohol, carbon dioxide and energy. Although the energy obtained through anaerobic respiration is less as compared to the energy released during aerobic respiration. E. Krebs cycle is also known as citric acid cycle. Krebs cycle is also known as citric acid cycle because the first product formed during the cycle is citric acid. Citric acid is formed by the condensation of an acetyl group with oxaloacetic acid and water. Question number 5. 
answer in detail. The first one explain the glycolysis in detail. Glycolysis was first given by Embedden, Meerhoff, and Parnas, and is referred to as EMP pathways. This process occurs in the cytoplasm of the cell and it present in all living organisms. In this pathway, glucose undergoes partial oxidation to form two molecules of pyruvic acid which can enter either Krebs cycle or fermentation pathways. In the course of conversion of glucose into pyruvate, energy is produced in the form of two molecules of ATP. B. With the help of suitable diagrams, explain the mitosis in detail. Mitosis is the process of personal cell division where daughter cells so produce contain an equal number of chromosomes as that in the parent cell. The various stages of mitosis in an animal cells are as follows. The first stage of mitosis, prophase. It is the first stage of mitosis that is marked by the initiation of the condensation of chromosomal material. Each chromosome is composed of two chromatids which are attached by the centromere. At the end of prophase, the mitotic spindle begins to the form the centrals. The nuclear membrane and the nucleus disappear completely by the end of this stage. Second phase, metaphase. It is the second stage of mitosis in which the condensation of the chromosomal material and the spindle formation gets compared. The spindle fibers get attached to the kind of cores of the chromosomes and the chromosomes get aligned along the metaphase plate in the middle of the nucleus. Anaphase It is the third stage of mitosis where the centromere of the chromosomes split and the chromatids get separated. The contraction of the spindle fiber moves the sister chromatids apart towards the two opposite poles. Fourth, telophase. It is the last stage of mitosis. In this stage, chromosomes finally reach their respective poles. The spindle fiber disappears and the nuclear envelope reappears around the chromosome's cluster. Also, the nucleolus Golgi complex, endoplasmic reticulum and other cell organelles reappear. C. With the help of suitable diagram, explain the five stages of prophase 1 of meiosis. Prophase 1 is the longest phase of the meiosis and is further subdivided into five phases. The first one is leptotin. The chromosomes begin to condense and are attached to the nuclear membrane. Second, zygotin. Synapsis begins with a synaptominal complex forming between homologous chromosomes. Third, pacetin. Crossing over the genetic material occur between non sister chromatids. Four, diplotin. Synapsis ends with disappearance of synaptonymal complex. Homologous pair remain attached at chiasmata. 5. Dikinesis Chromosomes become fully condensed and nuclear membrane disintegrates prior to metaphase 1. D. How all the life processes contribute to the growth and development of the body? Life processes are processes which are required to maintain body functions and are necessary for survival. The important life processes are nutrition, transportation, metabolism, reproduction, respiration and excretion. All these processes work together and result in the growth and development of the body. For example, nutrition is the process by which we take up nutrients which are used by the cells to meet their respective needs. This is a vital process which helps living beings to obtain their energy from various sources. Respiration associates with the exchange of gases as well as burning of food. It results in the breakdown of glucose and release of oxygen. Similarly, cell cycles and the cell divisions play an important role in the growth and development of the organisms. They help in the formation of new organisms as well as repair of dead and damaged cells and tissues. E. Explain the Krebs cycle with reaction. Krebs cycle is a cyclic process that occurs in the mitochondrial matrix in the presence of oxygen. The step 1. The cycle starts with the condensation of acetyl group with oxaloacetic acid and water to form citric acid. With the release of COA molecule, the enzyme involved in the conversion is citric synthesis. Citrate then isomerizes to form isocitrate. Step 3. 
the synthesis of saturate is followed by two successive steps of decarboxylation first the formation of alpha keto glutaric acid and then that of succinyl coa step 4 this succinyl coa gets oxidized to form malic acid which in turn gets converted into oxaloacetic acid thereby allowing the cycle to continue the entire process of krebs cycle can be represented as follows so see this is a cycle so have a look on that the next question how energy is formed from oxidation of carbohydrates fats and proteins color the diagram given below so have a look on this diagram also so see this is second chapter that we have completed the next lesson life processes in living organism part 2 will be coming soon so until that please wait here and do subscribe share and like all my videos thank you very much